Am I the a-hole for telling my friend that she isn't traumatized from somebody else's proposal? I 20F have had three close friends in college, Grace 21F, Matt 21M, and Laura 21F. Laura really likes using mental health terminology. She explores a lot of labels from those therapist influencers online. She's been told that she has an anxiety disorder and depression, but that's the only diagnosis she's been given so far. Recently, she's been exploring autism and ADHD. Matt wanted to propose to Grace. They've been dating for a while. He's been planning the proposal for a couple of weeks and while the proposal was very intimate between the two of them, I was very involved in scheduling the after-proposal event at a restaurant. The specifics of that are irrelevant to the story but it was lovely. Grace and Matt seemed really happy. Laura told us that she didn't want to be involved in planning the proposal because it reminded her of her parents' divorce. She said that she might come to the post-engagement party. Well come the day of the engagement and both Matt and I forget to check in on Laura. I don't think it's Matt's fault at all because he was occupied with far more important things, but I feel a bit guilty about not reminding her. She ended up not coming to the party. The next day, she starts posting online some dramatic things for lack of a better word about how it was traumatizing to see how little her friends cared about her and that she'll be updating her followers on her trauma therapy journey. She posts that she's now in a really dark place and she thinks she has PTSD. For context, I'm pretty sensitive to mentions of trauma and PTSD because I was diagnosed with PTSD by a psychologist in my last year of high school after something that happened in my first. I felt a lot of guilt and shame around this because I spent a lot of time feeling that the thing that happened wasn't bad enough to count. I sometimes still get nightmares and flashbacks but it's gotten better after therapy. I know that I have my own issues wrapped up regarding the word and it bothers me a lot when people seem to throw the terms around without understanding their weight, but I also acknowledge that I can't stop the internet from doing its thing. I haven't told any of my college friends about this, so Laura doesn't know. At one point she called me and started explaining how traumatized she is and I finally snapped and said, you're not traumatized, stop being dramatic, you just got exactly what you asked for. Now I feel guilty because I feel like I was a little harsh and she's posting online without my name at least that one friend that she thought she could rely on to support her is a b and doesn't understand how being traumatized works. However, I feel like honestly, Laura's being very dramatic about an event that's not about her. I called my mom to see what her opinion was and she told me that I could have reminded Laura about the party and while my point is not necessarily wrong, I could have been more sensitive. So now, I'm not sure how wrong I am. So am I the a-hole here? Here are the top comments. Not the a-hole. I cannot stand people who throw around psychological terminology with actual meanings to describe just their normal feelings. This person is absolutely creating their own drama and you want no part of it. Why would anyone need to check in on her the day of someone else's proposal? She said she might come to the after party. It's on her to decide if she come. OP, this is a friend who is going to require far too much attention when it comes to the little things, making everyone miserable. Do not apologize, keep your distance and re-examine what kind of friendship you want.